Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at the Prophecy DLC for Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. So as I've already done a full review on the base game, which is a fantastic game by the way, I'm going to focus on what Prophecy brings to the table. Prophecy is both an add-on and a standalone expansion to the base game, so you don't need to buy Inquisitor Martyr, although I would suggest you just buy the pair when they're on sale to get the most for your money. The expansion features an entirely new character class, the Tech Adept Inquisitor, a former acolyte of the Adeptus Mechanicus, a master of technology who can both summon and enhance units in battle. With the new character class comes new armors and weapons. Weapons in particular can replace the second attack button, where you right click, with yet another construct slot. You'll no longer have two additional ability slots for any weapons as they've been replaced by room for more constructs. Fighting alongside other units is not an entirely new concept in Inquisitor Martyr. In the base game, you can fight with the help of soldiers and other units. The Tech Adept takes this one step further, allowing you to summon machines to fight alongside you. They range from small and spider-like to track bots, turrets, and even large and powerful robots. Your abilities pool is powered by data flux rather than, say, focus from the Crusader class. One difference here is that 25 to 50 percent of your data flux gets reserved when using some of the larger constructs. To control, upgrade, and better utilize your constructs, four additional skill trees become available construct ability, offense, defense, and specialization. From the constructs menu, you can select which units are to be spawned during combat. You'll be able to customize your weapons loadouts and choose from a wide assortment of upgrades, and as your character levels up, more construct weaponry and upgrade slots become available. There's also a host of new worlds and locales with monasteries, research sanctums, deserts, and planets with molten lava spread across an entirely new subsector to explore. I am Caius Thor, Sergeant of the Storm Watcher Space Marines. Let's have a look at the story. There is a tech adept focused chapter of the game which takes place in parallel with the plot of the original narrative and intertwines the two stories as you progress. There's also a fair bit of extra lore to read and explore in the three included chapters. If you enjoyed Inquisitor Martyr, you'll surely enjoy the additional storylines found in Prophecy. Discovery of this fabled derelict. The three additional chapters in the expansion should take you somewhere in the 10 to 15 hour range to complete, and the addition of a whole new subsector to conquer will add many new elements to discover. If you bought both Inquisitor Martyr and the Prophecy expansion, you really can easily sink 100 hours into the game. Replay value here is fantastic and hard to beat. If you've enjoyed Inquisitor Martyr, the Prophecy DLC truly is a no-brainer and can be had at a great price, especially when it's on sale. I had a blast with it, and I'm sure you will too. As always, thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing for more content just like this. This is Chris from Talon Gaming, signing out.